Thibodeau shoved outside by Divac. Here come the Kings, led by Jason Williams. His shooting percentage has skyrocketed this year. And a three-point shot from outside right down the middle. And that's the kind of shot that Carlo would have because then he's got to play Jackson at the other end. If Jackson starts to hit, he's got to be able to move and he's got to get out there on it. Look in there because that could change if they keep not, if they don't get back in transition. Williams to Christie, slippery over Divac. He can't convert. Rebound by Williams. Christie launching a two from 20. Now, well, if anybody should know, it should be you. Wright has missed two shots badly. Weber sliding past Maloney and throws the hammer down at the other end. Great trip. Chris Weber. And Weber flies in, one of the premier players in the NBA. The Kings by two. Crowds in basketball, they play with a lot of emotion and excitement, and, and now they're playing that great defense that we've talked about all night. But on the road last year, they really struggled. And they're going to something. He was extremely impressed with the cooperation of the players, too. John Berry's free throw, one of the free throws, was good. At the other end, missed the first. Williams popping a three and banking it home. He's knocked down two threes tonight. He's got six. And the oh, you love it. And, you know, he's played with six different NBA teams, but he's only played like 50 total games. Right. So he's had to fight for everything. And it's great to see him finally succeed and make this roster. Johnny's got five points that have come all in this quarter. Well, but the thing that's impressive about him is the fact that he's not humble. I mean, every time he's gotten the ball, he's looked offensively to be creative. He didn't come in here with an apologetic kind of attitude, and that's the thing that will help him to stay here. And you can see coming up on the AT&T Halftime Report, take your eyes to that bottom line there. Trouble in Denver. What's going on out there? Yeah, just what I read on the Internet today. I don't know exactly what all the details are, but that's amazing if that's true, that those guys were the boycott. Boycott and a shooter. Yes. Ernie and Kenny will have that, and Peter Vesey is there, and Denver has lost four consecutive games. They're 10 and 12, and I kind of like their team. It's one of their best starts in, in a handful of seasons, and you would think that Van Issel, who played so many years in the NBA, would have a handle on things, but obviously there's more to that story to begin the second half. It's Matumbo and Divac with the grind and the interception made by Jason Williams. Four Atlanta turnovers. Sacramento's in double digits. The miss by Williams. Nice rebound by Weber. Henderson there. See, Atlanta's done a good job, but they've got to take care of the ball and maintain their concentration now. Ronnie Divac, whose shooting has been suspect only 42% this year, knocks it in from outside. With a shot blocker guarding him. Yes. Because that shot blocker has got to come out of the lane and he can no longer play a zone back in the back. Jason Williams has knocked down three triples tonight. And now the emotion and the beginning to emerge and the Kings to within four. Well, he's such an emotional player, but let's see if that emotion translates into the defensive end where he could try to stop down Jason Terry. <laughs> he's on fire and the Kings are back in the hunt. has been falling for him. Danny, he's only shooting 23% from above the arc this season. And he hasn't shot that many of them. You know, tonight is what he's attempted. You can see three per game. Last year, 6.3. But one thing we don't see there, two-point shooting, 58%. He leads all NBA guards in two-point shooting. He's been much more selective until he misses his style. Henderson bumping into Williams, knocked away on the play and picked up by Christie. To Corlew, three on two. And outside, Jason Williams for three. At 10! Right down the middle! Now that's a good shot because it's in transition. There's defensive rebounding balance. Jason just got a technical, I think, for taunting. He's getting a little bit too excited. He feels like he's on fire right now. They're trying to cool him down over there. <laughs> I mean, you got to get fired up a little bit in this game. I mean, heck, we're not in church on Sunday. Boy, is he having fun. Is he having fun. But he's like he's like acting like the crowd is doing something to him. The crowd isn't saying anything. They're <laughs> and, and, not talking and, to him. And, and you're right. And really, if you look at that, he might be looking up in the stands past uh, Terry. He's not looking directly. The person in the upper, <laughs> in the upper deck <laughs> thinking they're taunting him. But the, but the thing about it is, you know, he made the steal. You know, so that's not a bad shot in that situation, and I like it. If it's Working on Christie and waiting for his uh, teammates to arrive. The crossover on Christie, intercepted by Williams to Corlew, one on three. Matumbo has three fouls. The lob, Divac to Corlew, outside Williams, slashing back out to Divac for two. Good! 
And I love that play by Jason Williams right there. Ten points tonight. And right there, you saw Jason could have taken that shot wide open. He draws two defenders to him. Vlade has all day. They need to field, and he's doing a good job. When you think about him being out for eight games, Dikembe being out, uh, Lund really has a team now that he has not had before. 17 for Jackson. Great feed by Divac to the slashing Jason Williams. And it's a great cut by Jackson. Well, it's a great pass, but it's a great cut. He's being overplayed. He just dives to the basket. It's wide open because Divac and Webb. Substitutions. Medela is now back in for Atlanta. Robinson is back in for the Hawks. Inside Divac rejected by the rookie Medela and a whistle and a foul. See, I love that kind of basketball by Jason Williams. Not just settling for the outside shot. Last year, he shot 60% of his shots from the three-point range. But right here, he attacks the basket, draws three or four defenders in there, finds Vlade wide open under the basket. Look at Jason Williams improving defensively this year, as has the Sacramento team, the top five. And the Knicks are hot. They've been playing some good basketball of late. They've won two in a row. And a great playoff battle last year. Just a rivalry that's really blossoming. A three by Williams. Good once again right between the eyes and you see the difference there he was ready to shoot terry that can't convert another rebound by weber and barry for three good a three ball defensive teams this year in the nba has allowed a team to go over 100 points story inside the nba is on deck with peter vesey the jet and aj Williams the drive, scoops it up for two with 12 seconds to play.